Hello, it's me again. I'm Nafid. In this short video, we'll talk about the relationship between Aruba OS switch and Aruba Central that is managed or that is managing this switch using a template group. We'll verify initially the communication on the switch uh, with Central. We'll look at debugging and so we can see messages. We're going to view switch in Aruba Central um, in the template group and then we will uh, apply one change uh, to prove that we are able to manage the switch from central change the host name let's have a look so that's the switch that's managed by Aruba central just to make sure the case it is connected managed as you can clearly see now try to do anything on the switch you can't make changes so we see a list of VLANs and basically if i try to go interface it says inter embedded input the reason it is managed by aruba central now two ways to uh, if you like to manage it locally maybe for whatever purpose uh, for troubleshooting certain issues so you might issue the command aruba central support mode enable that's a possibility and then show aruba central you're going to see Aruba Center in a monitor mode. This means that you can make changes, whatever. But be warned if you make changes now and if you come back again, many, you know, connect this one to Aruba Central, any changes will be gone if we have template. Now, right now we have nothing. Okay, so we're going to go back. And the other way is we go uh, Aruba Central disable. You can do this if you would like to disable Aruba Central completely and show uh, Aruba Central, it says no. We don't want to do that. We so we got we are going back and enable Aruba Central. So show is a monitor, and then we go um, Aruba Central support mode disable, and then if we should a command show Aruba Central should be manage mode. So this is fully connected to Aruba Central being managed in Aruba Central. We look at the template on um, in Aruba Central itself. So now in Aruba Central, we see the switch listed under the global and um, it's this is the specific switch we had, uh, we've seen. Now, if you like, because we can't see which group or we can, it belongs to a template group. So we already added that to a group and that's a template group. Now what it is, if we go and we go to the config to that group, so we go to a template group where the switch belongs to and we go config and we do see that there is no template here, simply speaking. We need to create a template and that template we can make changes and push um, parameters of VLANs and disable interfaces, enable, so all um, all configurations are done through the template in this case. We will do that um, right now. So we're going to add a template. We give it a name. Let's say switch um, template. And in this case, simply it is an Aruba OS switch. We leave it as is. And we don't really, we don't, we're not going to impose any conditions because that's one switch in the group. Obviously, if you have multiple types of switches, you might want to have multiple templates for different types of switches. But in this case, we only have one. So we're going to go next. Now we have options. Obviously, you might have templates written offline and then you import them from outside. You copy paste. Now, for simplicity, we're going to copy the template from the running config of that switch number one. Now that is, or these are the things on the switch itself. What we are going to do now, we're going to save. If you save now, it might complain that there's no password set on the switch. So if we save now, password command missing in template. So what if you get this, no problem. You go at the end, you will say password manager. You can have a username, admin, plain text, admin one. I'm going to save it. 
Now switch template has been created based on the running config of the switch. We look at the variables here. These are the variables being generated automatically. We will show you later how to add a variable and how to set values. In here you can set values. So while we are on here, before we do anything, we double check the config or its status. If there are any issues, no issues here. And um, auto commit is on, it means any changes you make would be pushed. Now let's have a look. We can go back to the switch and enable um, debugging. Debug um, destination session so we can see it on the screen. And we go back to um, our template here. We can change um, from the variable list. We can change the switch name. We're going to say switch one and that's it. So we're going to delete the word template and we're going to say save. Sometimes it doesn't change immediately on the screen. You go to refresh the page. It might take a few seconds and if, it, if everything works that should change and the change should be pushed to the switch. Now it tells you what happens. User admin has been added and so on. So the switch name has changed from template switch, as you clearly see, to a switch number one. Now going back to central, we are able to see that is the case. Plus, if you go to audit trail, in the audit trail here, it tells you configuration difference detected and it's been applied successfully. And if you go back to the switch, so now we are on the group here. If you go back to devices in the configuration audit, if there are issues, it will show up here. There's no, there are no issues. And that's just simply speaking how to push settings, very simple setting. We uh, push, change the switch name, that's it. In the next video, we're going to talk about variables and how to update variables and so on. Thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you in future videos. Thank you.